First of all, yes, we do look at all of the comments in our YouTube videos, and I noticed in my previous one that you guys asked a particular question more than anyone else. And secondly, in order to reply to those comments, instead of actually literally answering those comments, I decided to resurrect an old segment that I did a long time ago here at Android Authority. So with that in mind, it's Josh Regard from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is How I Android with the Keymunk keyboard. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is the splash screen on Google Play, at the Google Play Store for the Keymunk keyboard. Keymunk is one word put together and then keyboard, and it's really easy to find in the Google Play Store. If you're wondering why you haven't heard of this keyboard in recent months or however so long, it's because the developer has stopped updating it. Now that is a bit of a bummer, and honestly, I really wish that this uh, keyboard had a lot more traction because when it first came out, I was a bit of an early adopter and I've been using it ever since. So even though the current uh, official Google keyboard is actually quite good in its own right and it's one that I use especially if it's built into the phones that I'm using uh, I tend to put Keymunk on my daily drivers because it's really just the one that I've really fallen in love with and here's why to give you a full illustration of Keymunk, I decided to uninstall it from my Nexus 5 and then I'm gonna install it again. Now here is the Keymunk Keyboard Pro that you're looking at here, the full version that costs uh, a little bit, uh, I think it's uh, $299 I believe, I'll confirm that and you'll see the text over on the left there. Uh, but first thing that I wanna do actually is head over to the free version and you'll see that 100,000 uh, downloads have been uh, done with it and only 1,300 reviews are available. And the date here is way back in December 23rd of 2012 so that means that this has been over a year without any updates but if you look at some of the reviews here that are really recent like for example uh, there were a couple at least on the pro version that I was looking at that were from just very recently 2014 like this one right here They say that it's uh, very different from other swipe to base keyboards And there's one particular reason why it's because Keymunk is used with both of your thumbs rather than just one You can use it with one thumb But it is supposed to be used with two in order to maximize your speed And that's something that really made it unique and is something that I personally love Accept the EULA Enable Keymunk in language and input as always and then go back and select it. And there you go. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's selected and there you go. Once I take a look at Keymunk, it will tell you that you can swipe up from the dot in order to look at all of the punctuation marks, which is a great gesture and shortcut that you have there. And then you can also hold it to see all of your options. So if we hold it um, in a little bit, you'll see uh, what it looks like. You can also sweep up from the uh, delete key in order to resize the keyboard. And another one thing that it does very well is it allows you to swipe to the left from the delete key in order to delete whole words, which is something that I've really gotten used to. And whenever I use another keyboard and I don't have that functionality, it really kind of bums me out. And then finally, you can sweep up from the symbol from the symbol area here to any of the symbols that appear in the layout in order to quickly put symbols in. And when you take your finger off, it'll go back to the main keyboard, which is yet another gesture it can do. And you should be able to swipe among all of the letters in order to get your word. So touch, type, but when it comes to the Keymon keyboard, you should be able to swipe with two fingers to all of the letters that you need for your word and it will intuitively find the word for you. So you have touch. So as you can see there, I did T, O, U, and then I put my finger on C, brought my other finger down to H, and it found that. For type, it'd be T, Y, P, E, and there you go. It's not the, it's not always perfect, but when you're on a roll, it's just an oh, absolute breeze. Like for example, if I'm going to type here, what would you like to remember? Like it says there, what would you like to, and, you can, and I touch type there, and the predictive text is there, so I'll hit two, remember. Question mark. You see how fast that was? Once you get the hang of this keyboard, it's one of the fastest keyboards available, at least in my estimation. Now, given that this uh, app has not been updated for over a year, there are a couple quirks, and you don't see it right now, but where the predictive text bar is, there's that little three dot right there because I'm not typing anything. Sometimes this right bar right here will be completely white while I'm typing. I see it on pretty much every phone that I use. Right now it's not showing up, but at times it does show up that that white bar is on the side. But as far as the design goes, that's really the only hole that I see. And as far as functionality goes, this is definitely still the one that I like to use the most because it is quick, because it is what I've gotten used to, and because of some of those gesture uh, based uh, actions that you can do that I got really used to. So in the end, my favorite keyboard is the Keymunk keyboard. Hands down. And there you go. 
Compared to other ones like let's say SwiftKey out there, I will not deny that SwiftKey is a very fast keyboard and if anything, being able to swipe with two fingers on KeyMonk is just as good, in my opinion, as the predictive text that is available in SwiftKey when it learns uh, how you particularly write. So in that way, I kind of look at both, the both of them and I can say, you know what, both of them are really fast, but for me, I just prefer the one that I've been using for quite some time. And so, as always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this returning segment of How I Android. We are planning on having the other guys give you a quick glimpse into what makes their Android experience unique, because that's the point of Android in the first place, right? So, make sure you stay tuned to the Android Authority YouTube channel and check out uh, videos from the likes of Joe, Jace, and Kevin the Tech Ninja. And remember, hit that thumbs up button down there, because we love to see that. Hit, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and keep it tuned here, because we are your source for all things things, Android.